The flange sheet tool was updated to now include options for tapered side angles along with optional offsets. These edit fields are not only accessed by the inspector, but now available in the selection info palette through the part tree. First, we'll add a flange using the Modify 3D Objects Bending Flange Sheet option. Now let's select a planar face reference for our flange, then a linear edge for the flange bend line, and dynamically set the flange location along the edge. The inspector bar now shows the four parameters to set the start and offset, as well as the start and angle for the tapered sides. Let's go ahead and change these values to have a start and offset of 0.25, start and angle of 40 degrees. A handy way to think about these tapered edge edges is the positive angles will reduce volume and negative angles will add volume. And finally let's go ahead and select uh, finish. Other than the new feature related to flanges is the ability to modify the properties later using the selection info palette part tree. Select the feature and the part properties. From this palette you can change all the properties related to the flange including the bend angle, bend radius, neutral depth, height, start and end positions, start and end offset distances, and finally the start and end taper angles. Thanks for watching. For more information, come visit us at www.turbocad.com.